Hi, this is Tolp. Welcome. And today, we're looking at the tiniest of bones. Tiny bones, a pickpocket. One mana, one black, one one. Legendary skeleton rogue with that touch. And uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, you can cast a non-land permanent from that player's graveyard, and you can spend mana of any type to cast it. So that second part, like, is the part that we're really interested in. And so we want to be able to attack in and with some unblockable, with a wedding invitation or an escape tunnel or a suspicious bookcase. And then what non-land permanents are we, uh, you know, going to be casting? Maybe they're creatures that we kill or we're going to duress them and we're going to binding negotiation and we're going to make them discard a card or... Um, we can also make them discard an exiled card face up, which means like a plotted card or a adventure card. Uh, then we're going to mill them and see if we can get some more permanents in their graveyard as well. And, you know, we're going to mill ourselves and then we can return some creatures from our graveyard that maybe died. Um, and then we're going with, you know... You know, we have the Tiny Bones joins up that, you know, that mills them as well. Um, and when a legendary creature comes into the battlefield. And so we got some legendary creatures with Gix and Sheldred uh, and Tiny Bones itself. But, you know, not too many. We're not going hard onto, onto the join up one. Um, maybe we could even take this out. Might be a good idea. Maybe we make room for something else. Like throw this guy in there or something. It's a better idea, I think, because the joins up doesn't really do that much. We don't have that many legendary creatures, although now I put a legendary extra one in there, but yada 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 and then we're going with uh two little combos here you know everyone knows the rush of dread <clears throat> with the blood letter but you know what else is pretty good besides you know that little combo is you got sheldred the apocalypse it's a four or five creature and you know when that's unblocked with a blood letter on the board that's eight damage and then they're going to take another two so that's going to be 10 damage of an unblockable sheldred and you can also give him unblockable with the bookcase so it's not just the Rush of Dread, um, you know, combo. It's also, you know, when you get a Blood Letter out, you can also, you know, push in with Sheldred. You can pump up... <clears throat> Where's that one guy at? Where did I take him out? The Vampire? I think I took him out. But yeah, you know, we can get Gix in there, make him unblockable. And, you know, we got Tiny Bones... We got some deep cavern bats, you know, as well to go along with the, you know, making them discard cards and stealing their cards. So that way, you know, we could check their hand, make sure that, you know, it's the way is clear for the combo to pop off. And then um, the other combo that we're going with Sheldred is the Blood Pact um, Insatiable, insatiable Avarice. Avarice. One mana, and then Spree, so you could spend two, so that's three total mana, to search your library for a card and put it on top. So you basically search your library for a Blood Letter or the Rush of Dread, and you put it on top. So obviously if a player mills or makes you shuffle, that's going to suck. But the second part of this is for, so for two extra black, so three black in total, target player draws three cards and loses three life. If you have Shelter on the board, that's nine damage to the opponent, you know, you're you're usually only targeting them when you're finishing the game off. The Blood Pact, you can do the same thing. It's two cards and two life, so that's six damage to the opponent to finish them off. But you could do this at instant speed on their turn. So you could possibly do that, you know, if they tap out. <clears throat> you could instant speed at their end step and then, you know, do something else to finish them off. So, yeah, that's the deck. Um, let's get into some games and see how we do. Opponent goes first. Hi, opponent. Are you playing uh, Boros or? Hmm. 
No creatures? They do have one. I mean, you have the Lawrence Escape. This, uh. Oh, the Explorer, so if they hit a land. What is this? Just looking for the blood letter. Two more lands. Dang, do you do it right now? I think we tried to force it out of their hand. We're still looking for that other land. You know, we need that fifth land. So they have the homestead that they can pump up their guy with. Better target. Three. Yep. Care about the damage? I don't think we do. Just go for it, you know? They have to kill us in two turns. That's one way to do it. Yeah, we're gonna kill that guy. Do we? I mean, that's a smart thing to do, right? <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't be smart. This is sorcery spells? This is sorcery spell. So with poor mana. Cast it on, you know, they have to kill us in their turn. Three, six, twelve. Well, I'm tapped out. Eight. I guess we have to block this. Sucks. Yeah, I should have just killed him. Okay. Hello. You have protection? No? Okay. The greed paid off. See, I don't draw tiny bones, I just get tainted adversary. This is priority over tiny bones. I mean, I like it, it's better. It's a 2 3 for 2. It's pretty much, you know, this is the combo. Tainted Adversary. Avarice. Blood Letter. I think I'm going to just do it. I'm just going to go for the combo. Just need to draw one land. I won't draw it next turn. I need to draw it this turn. Hmm, that's interesting. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nah, we're good. Don't need to do any damage to him. It's an instant kill. Two 
two mana to cast mounts or vehicles. So you can cast a three mana vehicle. Is that any color? One color. Do we escape tunnel? That's the question. Or do we blood letter in hopes that we draw land? I think we just go for it. Always gotta go for it, right? They could have something. They got sneaky reach. That's not a mount. How are they committing crimes? Yeah, that's cool. Good game. Glad you made up a deck that doesn't... <laughs> butter. Sweet like butter. That was butter. Kill it? This does X damage. I'll just gain some life, I guess. <sighs> search for a land, search for a blood ladder. if he's not gonna use the come on dude cool rather you do it on that than on Sheldred Thanks, man. Been waiting for that. Been waiting for you to do that. Oh, and I got this, by the way. Now it's starting to come together. That's nine damage. For three mana, six mana is 15 damage. Could have Wandering Emperor. Am I afraid of Wandering Emperor? Okay, they don't have Wandering Emperor. 
Next one's saddled. Cool. So if they tap out again, then I'll blood packed on that on their end step. And that's what I was saying that you could do. So that's six and then nine. Right? So that's fifteen damage. So if they tap out um I guess we'll draw some cards. I was gonna use it to kill you, but I think we just have to do it, right? We gotta march for four. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just take it. Let's put another shell I think. Let's do this binding negotiation. Let's see what you're working with. I mean, you just gotta take that creature? One, two, three, four, five. I don't really want to get rid of the blood pack, but I'm going to do it. So they have two bits of removal, which isn't good, but we can make them discard half their hand. That's good. Let me search for a card. Two, three, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, six. Need three more mana to be able to cast both in one turn. And that's instant speed. They can't cast that though. This is a, a tapped creature. If I wait one turn, I can do both? What else would I take? You know? I think we do both. It's a shame. You take a blood litter? Problem is, what is it? <sighs> so we're getting close. Eight, four. Uh, yeah. Do I got creatures in there? I got Sheldred? Just one Sheldred. Oh, 
Uh, I think we got it next turn. To bait out that thing. Right? Ooh. Ooh. Now we could go for it. Right? I think we're good. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Nine mana and a dream. All right. And we're back. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, tiny bones. <laughs> Tiniest of bones. Nowhere to be found. See you later, tiny. Um, this guy, though. Man, tainted adversary. He's pretty nice. Yeah, or we could just go more with the combo piece. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like to be at 14 creatures, you know. Being able to affect their hand and three mana to search up your combo piece is ridiculous. That's why Tiny Bones had to go. Uh, just, you know, you have enough removal to keep the game in check. You're just trying to survive till turn five. So now I wonder if the bookcase goes. And you go with the curtain instead. And just get rid of the whole unblockable idea. Um, right. And you can go with some other card draw. You could go with, I don't know if there's anything in the new set. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, the bandits hall, let's put that in. What does this do? Sacrifice a land, draw a card, and create a treasure token? We don't want to do that. Although, that's not too bad, though. Sack a land, you get a treasure. Temporarily treasure. But they get a temporary lockdown. I don't know. What is, like, token? Destroy target creature for four. For two, you make a one one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just put this in there, I guess, for some life gain. I don't know. I don't see tiny bones. It's got to go away from the strategy, you know. So we'll just, I mean, we'll keep the, you know, card hand draw, you know, screw up their hand in there. Right. Maybe we even go down one bat and we just go another one of those. Call it a day. 24 basics. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This combo's broken. This is uh, Invoke Despair 2.0, I guess. But this has been told, like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah.